background is in feminist theory and um, queer science studies, as you want to call that that way. And my uh, PhD project deals with uh, sperm donation and especially sperm donors. And the question that I was, that I'm interested in there is what does it actually mean to be working with sperm at the laboratory and how is work with sperm actually enabled? And then what does it mean to be a sperm donor and to be a sperm donor for a couple of years? I have interviewed um, around 30 donors from either Denmark or the US and I've interviewed the professionals working at the Danish and the American sperm banks and I as well, of course conducted field work at the two Danish sperm banks and one in the US as well as as a clinical treatment center and research unit focusing on male fertility here in Copenhagen. And I brought something from the field that I'm just going to uh, has around. You might probably know this one. These are called specimen cups, but they come in various sorts and different sizes. Um, I want those back later on. And they have not been used, so feel free to open them. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure if I'm really interested in medical materialities uh, per se, because I don't know if they are medical materialities. At the moment, my research field is very much tied to the biomedical venture of turning one certain human material into an exchangeable entity. Um, but it's not a medical materiality per se. It is understood as a medical uh, materiality in specific context, and which is already a specific part of how they understood and there was communicated. And that is actually interesting already that we are placing a label on materialities as medical. Um, what makes them medical? <laughs> that would be interesting to ask. I w I'm interested in, as part of my field, in the mattering of certain materialities, such as, for, for example, sperm. And mattering here, I want to understand is the instances in which certain materialities come to matter and they're with of concern. And I brought these specimen cups because right now I'm analyzing some of my material and I thought about, you know, how is this matter contained? You know, these cups are used for the donors to ejaculate into. And you've seen there, this big one is from the States, and then there's another one. Yeah, and there's another la larger one, which is from Denmark. And then, the, and then those two small ones, one is from China, and the other one is also from Denmark. So they come in very different shapes and sizes. But they all fulfill the purpose of containing a certain materiality, which is, you know, the practical having to do the practical work at the laboratory. You're not just carrying the sperm around from one mi mi microscope to the other. But they also represent that material needs to be contained in order that we can deal with its mattering, right? Because it serves a practical purpose, but at the other hand, nobody wants to work at the laboratory having to touch sperm all the time. Nobody wants to take a urine sample having to carry the pee wherever they want to carry it if they don't have a specimen cup. So containment practices are very much uh, interesting in, at the work of biobanks and other clinical settings because they say something about when materials such as sperm, urine, or blood make a difference. And that's why I'm here. 